Here comes Matt Taylor. Uh, you've got a suspended sentence, thank God. Hello. Where are you from? I am certainly. I can't make any more comments. The last thing I want to do is um, if I haven't any more contempt. But the people are shaking his head and I'm asking for comments. And um, they're not going to be able to say anything more about it. Have you got any questions you want to ask me? Do you regret what you've done? Absolutely. Um, it's, it's been a long process, I'm looking forward to putting this all behind me and moving on with my life and making sure this never happens again. The judge described the uh, harassment of the Commissioner as extreme. Do you, do you no, I, I reject that. Um, and I mean, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to be, I've just been on a precipice of going to jail. So I'd like to answer no questions about the case, if that's okay. But um, Katie Bourne, well, I hope I haven't um, you know, contempt for myself just by saying her name. But Katie Bourne knows how I feel about it. So please, ask her. Yeah. I'm sorry, Katie Bourne, for causing you distress. And I hope um, I get the apology vice versa. Okay, and um, thank you. So what's your name? Oh, thank you very much. Can I get a shot of you as you walk off? Yeah. Which, which way are you going? Oh, I don't know which way you're going to be. No, I find it so. What's, when is this going to be reported on? And this is for the evening news. Like. Oh, okay, on the bit on uh, Charlotte. Um, I think South you should Lake. know who I am. You should know who I am. Okay. All you have to do is Google John Patterson. That's me. One T. Google John Patterson reporting Sussex Police. Okay. I have tons of evidence of corruption involving Sussex Police and Katie Bourne. I work with an ex Crime Stoppers board member, Mr. Brian Setchfield, who witnessed a murder in the Bohemia Road Police Station in East Sussex. Katie Bourne and Giles. Uh, uh, 
It, no, no, who's the other guy? Charles York. No, it's not Charles Mark York. Streeter. Mark Streeter have covered up these crimes. For me, reporting these crimes, I was sentenced to 21 days in prison, and I don't apologise to Katie Bourne, who I've proved is a major fraudster. Now, if they want to come after me and put me in that court, I will bring all the evidence. Okay. And also, I'm all over the internet. Katie Bourne made new allegations about me in the mail on Sunday that, um, that I filmed her outside our house, which I found that quite distressing myself because um, I've never filmed her outside our house. Right. And these were allegations that weren't made originally on the 25th of April court hearing. She also made alle allegations that I was sexually obsessed and fixated with her. Again, these are new. And so um, I felt aggrieved because new allegations were being made about me and um, I, wasn't, I wasn't able to, to give my side of the story back. Okay. Um, but because of this now, um, I, you know, this is finished as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. With a line on the list, I'm moving on. I'm sure Katie Bourne wants to move on. And actually, um, I'd love to be able to um, be friends with Katie Bourne in some kind of future because... Are you serious? No, 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 because I, I say this, John, because ultimately I'm, I'm still interested in politics. I was a parliamentary candidate in 2015 by in Kent Town and I ran on that too and I'm sure that our paths will cross in the future and I don't want and even though this will sour our relationship I want this to um so we can both put this behind us and we can move on um things were said on both sides like I said I've never harassed or I, I don't feel as if in my I know that they've found a, uh, um, a decision against me that I've, but in my heart of hearts I've never stalked anyone. I've never filmed anyone from, from outside the house. And I'm certainly not sexually obsessed or fixated on Katie Bourne. Okay. Yeah, so. Thank you very much for speaking yeah. to us. Can you just feel me walking? Uh, yeah, well. Now, yeah, listen, listen, folks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now, may, maybe Matt wants to put Katie Bourne behind us. But I've got stacks of evidence in case of it. And I'm not putting this behind me. The Sussex police banged me up in prison for malicious broadcasting just for telling the truth, right? So I'm not going to let go. Sorry? Oh, Matt hasn't put his foot in it. Of course he hasn't put his foot in it. All he's done is tell the truth. I mentioned her name. Oh, that's right. This is going up on, on the internet, and if they want to come and do me again, they know where I live. Okay. Okay, let's go and get a coffee. The no, coffees are on me. <laughs> okay, folks, I'll finish this off uh, when I get they home. Me, you know. God bless. Uh, it, it was a great day, uh, especially the last part. I, I thought these people were from Hoaxed Research. Turn out they're from the um, Evening News, whoever they are. But um, we've we've had a result. I'm telling you, it couldn't have gone better. I mean, it's over for Matt. He's a free man. Trust me, this is just the beginning. God bless. Oh,